When Marcus first got here, he was he was almost humble to a fault in that he, he would just defer to an elder. Would you consider yourself a leader? The quarterback position, you naturally kind of thrust it into that position. I'm more of the shy guy. I don't really get after guys, but you know, it's something that I'm really learning. I think that's just his personality. I think he's naturally a humble guy. He's really growing up in terms of being more of a vocal, assertive guy. There'd be some new guys that wouldn't know the old Marcus for sure, and some of the old guys would see the growth and somewhere in between assertive and, and humble. Coach Alfred was definitely in my ear about that. He wanted me to not necessarily be more assertive, but to just bring out my voice more. I was running the offense, but not saying anything. I wasn't telling anybody anything to do. I was just more worried about myself. Mariota might be worried about himself, but his head coach, Mark Helfrich, doesn't appear to have any worries about his star QB. Not when Mariota has gone 17-1 and as a starter and accounted for 58 touchdowns. Helfrich knew he had something special when he recruited him out of Honolulu, along with another big-name quarterback out of Texas who also committed to the Ducks at the same time. That was the greatest camp workout of all time was, was Johnny Manziel and Marcus in, in, in our indoor. And, and I mean, it was just like a shooting gallery. Johnny Manziel decommitted before the start of their freshman year, ending up at Texas A&M where he became the first freshman ever to win the Heisman Trophy. Would you still be the quarterback if he came here? Could you beat him out? That's left to, I mean, other people's opinions. I'm not sure. I think it would have been a, a, a fun quarterback competition. I think um, Johnny's done an awesome job down at, down at College Station, and you know, hopefully I'm able to bring that around here. There goes Mariota! Not going to catch him! Touchdown, Oregon! Five games into the 2013 season, Mariota has thrown for nearly 1,400 yards, 14 touchdowns, and no interceptions. He's also yet to play a single down in the fourth quarter due to Oregon's dominance so far this season. Add to that, another 338 yards on the ground and seven touchdowns on only 28 carries, all while leading one of the most complex offenses in college football. They're going at work speed now. Mariota keeps it. We don't have too many plays where it's turn around and hand the ball off. That just, you know, just doesn't really exist. Throws it, it's caught, touchdown! How many different plays can you check into? A whole bunch, really. I think if I'm able to recognize different things, hopefully I'm able to counter that with a play that's best suitable for them. Mariota to throw, wants to go deep, he's got him, touchdown, Oregon! What are you looking at right now? I'm looking at just what, what the, the way the defense is set up. Going into the game, obviously we'll have our different keys. For the most part, I'm just making sure that everyone's set up. You got a lot of stuff going on, man. Touchdown, Marcus Mariota! A big reason why Marcus is so humble, he told me a story of when he got the starting nod last year. Uh, he got the nod from Chip Kelly. He calls his dad and he says, hey, dad, I'm the starting quarterback at the University of Oregon. His dad says, that's great. Now, what are you going to do with it? Always expectations for Marcus.